Voila, Selena Gomez joining me in Studio 7. Welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Of course, thanks for having me. Um, let's first begin, I know you're here, you're headed to the Mall of Georgia to t meet a bunch of your fans and talk about Monte Carlo, but first I know this week you were in the hospital for a second, and just yeah. for your fans who are concerned, how are you feeling? Thank you for asking, I'm much better. <laughs> no, I am. It was uh, just needing to take care of myself, a lot's probably going on for me, so... You're just a little busy? Yeah. Eating too many Kit Kats and M&Ms, I hear? That's exactly what it is. You have to take care of yourself. It's yeah. the biggest lesson I've been learning. <laughs> Monte Carlo. We're going to play a clip in a minute, but I want you to just set up. Explain what the movie's about and your char characters. Yes, I play two characters. Monte Carlo, is, it's kind of like a romantic comedy. It's really sweet. It's about, um, it's about three girls that travel to Europe in hopes to find a better life. And ultimately, at the end, they realize that their lives is, is basically the best fairy tale any girl could have. So... Shall we watch? Yes, go Let's ahead. watch. Four years of pep rallies, imagining myself walking along the Seine and standing on top of the Eiffel Tower. Do you mind if we order? Grace, go with Meg and Emma. Have a great trip. Paris. Nobody pinch me. The Junior Ambassador Suite offers luxury... How long did you get to stay and film in Paris? Uh, well, actually, we shot um, seven, no, six weeks in Hungary. Hungary? So, yeah, and it kind of looked like Paris, so we gotcha. were cheating a little bit. But we did shoot in Paris for, like, four days. Pretty good British accent. Did it take you a while to work on that? Uh, a little bit, yeah. It took about two weeks, and I'm still not really that confident <laughs> in it. <laughs> Like I said, you're here, um, part of this whole mall tour, right? So yes. you go to the mall, once you leave here and you see your fans there, and once you hop on your Twitter page, you have like five million plus you know, fans there. You're constantly out, you're constantly in front of people. You were born in 92, so you're familiar with the internet. You've always had internet and cell phones and being connected. Selena, is there any point in time where you just put that phone down and want to be just, just disconnected? Every day, <laughs> every single day, I'd like that. I. I think it's crazy. I love that I'm able to connect with my fans. I do think that Twitter and Facebook's really um, wonderful to be instant with your fans, but it's a scary thing. Internet is really scary for me, so I, I kind of um, wish I could disconnect every day from it. When do you? You have to have moments when you just have time to yourself. I do, yes. I, I will send a Twitter. Like, well, obviously, I'm excited about Monte Carlo coming out, so I'm talking about it a lot. Um, but other than that, I do. I, I take those moments to just be by myself. You are about to be 19. Yes. In July. Happy early birthday. Thank you. I'm a July baby as well. Nice. And I'm just curious, are you voting next year? This would be your first presidential election you're voting in. That is the first time that I've ever been asked that. That, w that is my first time I would be. I did a campaign when I was 16 basically saying that I wanted to encourage kids my age because we're the next generation coming mm -hmm. up to vote. So I think it would be really fun for me to kind of be involved with my family and... and I have a say now, which is nice. And have a say next year. Yeah. Next year, 2012. That's crazy. It is crazy, <laughs> right? You're, you're old enough now. And when you think about the election, and I don't know if you ever have moments to stop and, you know, start in educating yourself on potential candidates, but what issues do you think you will most look for? What issues face your generation? What issues will you be wanting to hear from, from some of these potential White House hopefuls? Uh, I would say education. Um, and I probably would say global warming. Um, and I think that we, I think we do a lot to help other countries, but sometimes I feel like we don't really help a lot here or our, our country. So that, that'd probably be something that would catch my eye. So I realize I'm just a little older than you. <laughs> so I wanted to bring in, um, we wanted to get inside the mindset Hi. of one of your fans. And so you? this is Hi. Ava Daughters. She is the daughter of one of our most senior writers. And awesome. so Ava, this is your chance. What is your question for Selena? Well, I was wondering, why are you moving away from Disney Channel? Um, well, for me, I am about to be 19, so it's kind of um, a transition phase, I guess you could say. I'm getting older, so it's kind of like graduating high school. I still have a very close relationship with Disney Channel, but I want to make really fun movies like Monte Carlo and stuff for my other fans to see, too. Is that okay? Do we, do we accept that answer? Is that or do okay? you want to press her a little more? I accept more? it. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Final question to you, and then I know you have to go because your plan your, your day is stacked but how is it that you're able to maintain this um you know lovely persona a lot of other gals have gone different paths um different directions and you really seem to you know have it together for someone who's being pulled in so many different directions and you're dating some guy all of us have heard of i mean it's a you have a lot going on 
how do you maintain? How do you maintain that balance? Um, I think that I have to surround myself with really good people or I would probably go crazy. I'm 18, I'm going to make mistakes and I'm going to learn from my mistakes and become who I'm supposed to be, but that's my business. I really don't think that it should involve my fans or involve my connection with them. So I try to be the best I can be for my fans and continue to be happy. <laughs> Let's talk presidential election next time. Go. I'm okay? excited. Yes, let's do that. Deal. <laughs> Selena Gomez, thank you. Ava Daughters, nice job. Yes, Your thank dad you. is sitting and watching and very proud.